Hi, I'm Tom D and in this video I want to show you how to authenticate to Elasticsearch using service tokens. Let's start. There are three token-based authentication services, service accounts, API key service and token service. Token service and API key service I already discussed. This time I want to show you how to use service accounts. In order to create service token, you call API. That API will return you the token that is minimum 22 chars long. It will save it under security index in Elasticsearch and return you in form of HTML response. There are three service accounts, Fleet Server, Kibana and Enterprise Search Server. In this video, I will show you how to use Kibana service account that will authenticate to Elasticsearch and let Kibana communicate to Elasticsearch. The first step is to start Elasticsearch. Here we have a network Kibana over here. The name of the container is Elk. And here you have a mount point. Actually, it's a volume that mounted whatever is a config catalog of Elasticsearch. It's copying that into the new volume called Elk config. That's needed because later on, when you will start Kibana, that Kibana needs this certificate authority used for connection between Kibana and Elasticsearch. So that will be there and you will refer to that. Let's start it. Now container is started, but we need to set the password for Elastic. So we can use Elastic user to create the service account token for Kibana. For that, you can use this one liner that will set up this simple password. For learning, educational, testing purpose, it's absolutely fine to have this very simple password. Let's run it. Password is successfully set up right now, so you can continue. To start a new HTTP request, type HTTPS localhost, and here you need to set up the authorization to basic this password one two three four five six now you can run it okay you are connected to Elasticsearch to check current setup for Kibana service account you can type security security slash service slash Elastic Elastic is a namespace and Kibana as a service account name you can see that this service account has this role descriptor defined the same as it was with API keys. You can define here, actually you cannot define anything because those three service accounts are hard coded. But in case of API keys, you can define role descriptor and limit the access. Okay, this is the list of roles assigned to the cluster uh, level. You have also the permission specified over indices and so on and so on. So now if you want to create API token, if you want to create a token for that service account, type slash credential slash token, and then you can run it as it is. It will generate you random name for that token, or you can specify your token name. Let's say for Kibana. For Kibana as a token name. Now change the request type to post and run it. Token is created. You can see your name and the value of the token. Now you can use that value to start Kibana service. Finally, you can start the Kibana. Switch to terminal. You can see there is the same network, Kibana. You can see that there is a Elk config volume mounted over here. And this volume contain configuration files generated with the container of Elasticsearch. And now important is to have this certificate. This is needed for connection from Kibana to Elasticsearch. This is actually the certificate authority kind of trust store. And you can see that verification mode is set up to certificate this time. Elasticsearch hosts Elasticsearch service account token. This is important part because you need to replace that with your current value. 
So place the value that is generated here. Okay, let's place it here. Now we have a complete information to start Kibana. Click enter and wait. There is a status Kibana is now available. Let's check it. Type HTTP localhost 5601. That's the port for Kibana. Now we can see that Kibana doesn't ask for an enrollment token. That's another alternative to connect Kibana and Elasticsearch. Instead, it's asking for username and password. So let's type as a username, famous Elastic and password. Kibana is started. You can now explore the Kibana. Now the same question I was asking with API keys and tokens. Can token create another token? For Fleet Server and Kibana service account is not possible because they don't have a cluster privilege that will allow to create token. So it's not possible. But it's possible with service account called Enterprise Search Server because it has this privilege manage. So it can create token and later on you can use that token to authenticate to create another token and so on and so on so you can create multiple tokens thank you for watching this video i hope you like it subscribe if you want to see more such videos more educational videos and see you next time have a nice coding bye